focus of our Water Quality Task Force has been to how we improve the resilience of our wonderful icon, the Great Barrier Reef, and managing water quality in the Great Barrier Reef. We've made some progress, some good progress over recent years, but it's not been widespread, it's been patchy. This is an interim report. This is about listening to the community. It's about communicating what we've found, what we've observed, what we recommend, and getting that feedback. We often say feedback is the food of champions. We've got a champion team, and we need that feedback and consultation. We brought together experts from science, industry, government, and the community who could provide us with fresh insights and suggest new approaches to improving the resilience of the Great Barrier Reef. So the task ahead of us is not easy. We need to scale up our efforts and our ambition, and we need all industries, sectors, and levels of government to work together to achieve our targets. In order to get the change that the future is requiring, we need to be much more large scale, more widespread, and everybody involved in this. We realise very quickly everybody looks for silver bullets. There's no silver bullets here. We need a complex mix uh, of tools and processes. We can do this as a nation. We did it with road safety and safety belts. We did it with smoking. We did it in 2007 with the uh, Queensland Water Commission and the 140 leader plan. So we can do this stuff. Let me reiterate my thanks to Dr Garrett for his important work in leading this group and all of the task force members for their support and hard work to help protect this natural wonder for generations of people to treasure and enjoy. I look forward to receiving the full report in May next year. It's amazing what you can achieve if you don't care who gets the credit.